The following content is provided under a Creative Commons license. Your support will help MIT OpenCourseWare continue to offer high-quality educational resources for free. To make a donation or view additional materials from hundreds of MIT courses, visit MIT OpenCourseWare at ocw.mit.edu. Now we're all set to look at the Fraunhofer diffraction pattern associated with a two-dimensional multi-slits. The setup, again, just to remind you, uh, same as before, here's the laser, here's the beam from the laser reflected by this mirror and reflected by this mirror into a lens. Now, the lens here is used to expand the beam so that we can illuminate quite a chunk of a two-dimensional uh, multi multiple slits. And then the, the diffracted light then goes on onto to the screen. Now let's look at the two-dimensional uh, multiple slits. What we have for you, we have two Ronchi rulings. Each one has so many lines per, per inch. I'm not going to tell you because I'm going to leave that again as an exercise. Uh, so that we have two identical Ronchi rulings that are, that are crossed. The first one is fixed, which is over here, and the second one is attached to a rotation stage behind, uh, behind the first. So we can rotate the second uh, Ronchi ruling and then we can see what it does to the uh, diffraction pattern. So now let's look at, let's look at the screen and, uh, and then as we, uh, and as you can see on, on the screen now you see the, the two dimensional uh, uh, diffraction pattern of, the, of multiple slits. Uh, you can see that they look different than, uh, than, the, than the single slit. We have a lot more dots. And again, as I say, I'm going to leave it as an exercise for you to figure them all out. Again, I'd like to draw attention to, to the dots around here, to all these cross terms uh, in, this, in this pattern. So this pattern then is associated with, with, uh, with the rulings uh, crossed or orthogonal. Now what I'm going to do I'm going to rotate the, the Ronchi ruling or the multiple slits uh, in, in the back of the fixed one. See, so again you can see that the pattern rotates. Now if we get rid of the, the insert and then look at uh, the entire pattern, okay, now you can see and what happens as I rotate, as I rotate the Ronchi ruling in the back. Here we are, I can rotate the other way. And I hope you can see all the weak spots, which are the, the cross terms in the, in the pattern. Now, in order for you to calculate the, the line spacings in the Ronchi rulings, I will give you the information you need. Uh, we have a plane wave that's, that impinge, impinges on the, on the Ronchi ruling. And the diameter of it is about a, a little over a centimeter. The, uh, the screen is about 100 centimeters away from, from the Ronchi rulings, and the wavelength of the light, as before, is 6328. And with all this information, you should be able to calculate the, the uh, number of lines per, per inch or millimeter of the Ronchi ruling, but I, you need still one more information, and that is the scale on the screen. And I'm not going to put a scale on, but I will tell you that the separation between, between these dots here, these pair of dots, is about six millimeters. So now you have all the information you need to calculate the, uh, the spacing between the lines in the, in the Ronchi ruling. Now just before we quit, if we can uh, pull away, let the camera pull away and show you the extent of the, of the pattern, right? Now you can see the pattern extends quite a bit. And now we can come in again and back to where we were before. This completes our demonstrations of two-dimensional Fraunhofer diffraction pattern. Next, what we have for you is Fresnel diffraction. So when we come back, We'll have the setup rearranged so we can look at some Fresnel diffraction pattern.